Hello folks, so uh, today rather than a uh, tie-in video, um, I'm going to show how I, t how I knot uh, pheasant tail fibres for um, for legs, for daddy long legs or um, any type of legs that you're adding to, to wet flies. So this is the wee, the wee hook thing that I use, I put that in a vise and then I I'll show you the method that I use to, uh, to tie them, but that's the wee hook and I'm going to show you how to make that. Um, now what I have here is, this is just a paper clip. Um, it's actually funny shaped paper clip, they're normally round at the top and bottom, but the, the shape doesn't matter. Um, I'll show you what to do, straighten out, whatever shape of paper clip you have, straighten out the, the paper clip. This is only a wee pair of fine nose pliers. I use them for taking the barbs off hooks. So straighten that out as, as best you can. The, uh, I actually found this in a drawer. Um, and I said I would, I would do this and show how I go about uh, tying the, the pheasant legs. So straighten that out, as I say, the, the round ones are easier because you just straighten them up straight away. So I have the clip here, so I have an ordinary pair of pliers, so just come on and snap that away Do we get our straight piece of wire. So you only want to fold down, I'll use this end here because it's straighter. You only want to fold down about half an inch from the top, fold that over on itself, like so, um, and then come down about an inch or an inch and a half, and bend that back on itself, so that this part that we bring up comes up to meet. The part we're only after folding, like so, and then all you want to do is come on them with pliers and these two pieces, nip them two at the same length. So probably have to pull this back a wee bit the way to do it. And then bend that up. You can actually bend that past just to get it closer. So that's our wee hook here. And that's the bottom end that's just turned up. Now that bottom end, all you do with that is put it on the air vise. And if you take the time, you can bend that past and then bring it back over again. So that it's actually a wee bit closer. Um, take the time and shape that round so that the, they're not that far apart from one another. The distance doesn't really matter because um, when we pull the, I'll show you now, when we pull it back up again, um, the, the face and tail will let go of this, I'll show you now. Rather than talk about it, I'll show you what I mean. So this is how you use the hook. So I have here uh, three fibres that I've removed from a pheasant tail filler. So your right hand holds the top, left hand on the stock end. So left hand goes around, the right hand comes up between the legs up behind the hook and then the left hand comes up and over the top let your right hand go and that pulls your knot and then what you do then is this knot that you've on pull it both ways pull it down the filler and then back up the filler and that seats the knot and gives you that kink in your leg and if the leg's too long just come on 
grab hold of the tubs or grab hold of the fibre in your hand come on and nip away the tubs and that gives you your your legs so I'll show you that again this is only two fibres this time well it was two fibres that I grabbed it so hold the tubs tubs in the right hand stock on the left left goes around the right comes up between the legs behind the hook and then the left hand comes up and the right hand let go that's your knot pull your knot down back up again and down again and then just come on down and shorten your leg so there you have it that's how you are not pheasant tail legs um, you can double knot as well um, if you play about with the the, uh, the knot you can seat it down here down low um, so I'll show you that so same again right hand holds left hand comes round down up behind the hook now if you hold on the, the tops on tight here and lift the left hand up you can seat that knot really far on so that it's closer to this end and then same again pull the knot both ways seat the knot down low and then same again now you want to grab here just where the knot is because if you pull that you'll pull the, the knot off so left hand goes round right hand comes up between the legs behind the hook and then the left hand comes up and over the top and then pull in your left hand pull in your right hand and then left hand again and right hand again and that gives you your double kick in the leg um, as I say um, pretty easy done and it doesn't take you very long to go through uh, I have I'll show you the the bucket that I have here um, I've sat and tied um, that's brown on one end and um, like a dark brown on the opposite end that colour that I'm using now um, and 20 minutes half an hour ties you up a brave pile um, for I know that uh, the wee packs I have a wee pack here somewhere So the, uh, the wee packs of, I'm not going to show the label, um, there's nobody getting named or shamed like, um, the wee pack of uh, knotted pheasant head um, can be rather expensive, a hell of a lot more expensive than buying yourself uh, four or five good lengths pheasant fibers or pheasant fillers um, and that way you hook everybody has a pepper clip lying about the house so just one last time I'll show you how to knot again so right right hand holds the tops left hand grabs the stock end right in the back between the legs, behind the hook, right hand let go, and the left hand pulls up. Pull your knot both directions, and that's your your knotted leg. So there you go, folks. That's how you, uh, that's how I knot me pheasant tail legs, um, and as I say, that way hooks. Well, I made out of a paper clip, um, and I've tried <laughs> many different ways over the years. I've used, um, I actually still have it here, a crochet needle, um, wrap them around and get the knot underneath and go through with a crochet needle and pull them through. Um, I've got, I've tried the the needles off a knitting machine. Um, 
I've had my mother tie them for a while, um, any, any way at all that I thought would, would have been quick uh, and would have been easy, but for me that's, and I can only, I can only talk for me, for me that was the easiest way that I found. So, there you go folks, I hope you find that helpful and it helps somebody, so until the next time, thanks for watching and tight lines.